now, here's meteorologist TJ Del Santo with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Well, the steady rain is gone. We're still looking at a few sprinkles out there. Let's get right down to business. Live Pinpoint Doppler 12 radar showing where these little area of sprinkles are, mainly down across South County. The last image of the loop here, right in there. Watch Hill seeing a few raindrops right now. Some more showers headed up toward Boston Way. We're going to be seeing a few light rain showers throughout the afternoon. So low chance of anything uh, overly threatening this afternoon. Now tonight, late in the night and Saturday, medium threat of weather that could have a, an impact and it's not a big deal, but we are looking at some snow working its way into the area and there could be some slick spots on area roads. Downtown Providence, we've got cloudy skies looking eastward and you can see there's not a whole bunch in the way of rain there right now. Live pictures from Narragansett had some surfers there earlier in the day. Not there now, but we have uh, just cloudy skies and well, for the most part dry skies. Temperature at 42 in Providence, 39 Smithfield, 38 in Gloucester, Fall River 43, New Bedford 42. These temperatures are well below average. The average high is 51 for today and we're not going to even come close to that. 42 degrees right now in Smithfield in the Greenville area. Winds are tending from the northwest at about three miles an hour. You see the smattering of showers across southeastern New England. Some more rain off to our south. That's associated with an area of low pressure that's going to be getting organized over the next well, 6 to 12 hours or so. Cold fronts pushed offshore, but an area of low pressure will be riding along it during the nighttime tonight and through Saturday. And we're going to be seeing this little pink dash line. We're not actually going to be seeing the line, but we're going to be seeing the effects of it uh, during the nighttime tonight and into tomorrow. We'll see some precipitation, and as cold air returns to southern New England, we'll be seeing any rain turning over to snow. It'll be a process that continues tonight into the daytime tomorrow. Let's take a look at it with our future cast. Here we are at 3 o'clock this afternoon. Oh, so a few sprinkles here and there. Not a big deal. A few sprinkles and light showers around this evening, but a better chance of rain after midnight. And look what we have here. We've got a little bit of snow in the Providence area on off to the north and west. Look what happens late night and into tomorrow morning. The snow becomes a little bit more widespread as the colder air works its way south and eastward. That continues to happen through the daytime tomorrow. The chance of snow all the way out into Cape Cod. Now it's March. And the March sun's very strong and it will tend to warm the atmosphere up a little bit. And there will be a little pockets of uh, rain around during the daytime tomorrow. And that will cut the accumulations down and it'll be above freezing. So we're not looking at a big accumulation here. One to two inches and it's mainly on the grass and the car tops. Elsewhere, coating to an inch in Providence, Fall River, New Bedford, inch or two. Again, mainly on the grass and the car tops for today. 44 degrees with some rain showers tonight. We'll see that rain and snow develop late in the night. We'll see the snow and even some rain showers tomorrow. Chilly tomorrow, only about 38 degrees. Sunday, clearly the better half of the weekend. Sunshine, 40 degrees during the afternoon. A solid 10, 12 degrees below average. And look what we got here. Wednesday, April Fool's Day. Might be some snow beginning Tuesday night into Wednesday morning. Could be some accumulations there. Not like 1997 with the blizzard, oh. but you know, there will be a little bit of snow, I think, there. It looks like we'll see more showers on Thursday. An unsettled week next week. We will never forget that one back no, in 97. Won't. All right, thanks, TJ. Here's a quick look at what we're working on starting.